Today I'm going to do part two of my get to know me video. Do I prefer this or do I prefer that? I'll link the first part down below and if you just don't really care to get to know me, that's cool, that's fine. Move on to the next video all about saving money and living a simple life. Don't forget if you are not subscribed to make sure you hit that subscribe button. Before I get started, several of you commented that you actually were trying to figure out which one I would pick before I picked it and then there were some of you that actually said that you picked the exact same things that I did through the entire list so I think that is so much fun. Let me know down below if you also are doing that. It's like a game. Maybe not a drinking game but a game nonetheless. The first one is cozy socks or slippers. I definitely prefer cozy socks. I wear socks every day of the year in my house. I, I do not go barefoot. I don't like to be my feet to be cold. And wearing slippers on top of socks is even, you know, in the middle of winter, too hot most of the time. So I definitely prefer cozy socks, not slippers. TV series or movies? Well, years ago it was movies. Now it is TV series and most of the time what I do is I have a TV series on in the background just for background noise because I'm always doing something so I don't actually feel like sitting down and spending the time to pay attention to a movie or a new series all the time. So it's usually again something that I'm just playing on repeat of a TV series. Watching a sunrise or watching a sunset? Now in my previous video you'll hear that I talked a lot about how I'm a morning person. I get up in the morning but that wasn't always the case. Even though I get up early that doesn't mean I'm actually going to rather enjoy watching the sun come up. I prefer the sun setting. I don't know what it is. It especially at the beach. The sunset at the beach where you know it's going down behind the ocean. There is just something about it closing out the day and the colors where it can get that beautiful burnt orange color, purple and pink into the into the ocean. Okay, yeah. Are you picturing it? <laughs> I definitely prefer sun setting. Treadmill or outdoor run? Well, I prefer to walk most of the time, but if I do run walk, which is what I would do, um, is outside, not a treadmill. Um, I like for my brain to I don't know I don't want to look at the same thing I want to be out in the air and um, to get myself out of my head and my self telling me oh you need to stop you're really tired your legs are gonna fall off you go ahead and stop yeah you're not who are you you think you're you can you can't run just stop running I need to be outdoors where I can uh, 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 squirrel 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 you know kind of look around and be able to distract myself pancakes or waffles I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Neither. I am a very picky eater. Um, I don't like pancakes or waffles. Uh, I don't like cereal. I don't eat any of that. Um, I'm weird. I don't like peanut butter. Um, there's a lot of things I don't eat. Whenever somebody asks me or they hear I don't like peanut butter or something, they say, well, what what else don't you eat? I'd say, well, it's easier for me to tell you what I do eat. That is a shorter list. Going out to eat or ordering takeout. Definitely going out to eat. Um, takeout, no offense, but it's it tastes a lot better if you're if it's just out of the kitchen than if it's sitting in a styrofoam box sweating on itself, right? You know, soggy French fries. I definitely prefer going to a restaurant getting a massage or getting my hair done definitely getting a massage i need one right now i love getting massages getting my hair done is just a necessity to me it's not something that i'm like oh i'm so excited i'm gonna go get my hair done i'm gonna sit here while my hair processes no like i i like going because i get to catch up with my hairdresser who i've had the same person doing my hair for 22 years um that's usually unheard of um, so that's why I like to go, but you know, if I'm gonna choose, I'd rather you know be getting a massage. I'm sure I'm sure she'd say the same thing. <laughs> buying flowers or buying a candle? Definitely buying a candle. I like candles. Um, 
flowers to me, I would rather have, you know, um, a succulent plant or like, you know, aloe, cactus, that kind of a thing um, that you don't have to pay a lot of attention to rather than going out and getting flowers that are going to end up dying. I don't like the smell of flowers. Is that weird? It smells with, I mean, it smells like a funeral home. I'm, I, I guess growing up, I'm going to go off on another little tangent, which again, if you know me, <laughs> that's what I do. Um, I am young compared to everybody in my family, meaning um, the generations as far as the kids. My dad was the youngest, my mom was the youngest, so out of all these kids, I saw a lot of people pass when I was little, young. Um, I've seen it a lot. And there's that smell of flowers, and that's just, you know, what I got used to. I got used to going to visitations and such where all these flowers were. So the smell of flowers to me, I don't like it. It just brings back bad memories. So yeah, I would definitely have a candle over the smell of flowers. Eyeliner or mascara? Definitely mascara. If I do not have mascara on, which I don't care if I'm out about, I won't have mascara on. But if I don't have mascara on on camera, I literally look like two sunken holes because um, my, my eyelashes are very light colored. They're not blonde, but they're very light colored. So they blend in and they look like I almost don't have any, which I do. So I definitely prefer mascara. Mascara is easy. It's quick. And if you put eyeliner on without mascara, to me, that looks odd. I really like this next one. Be invisible or read minds. I think, I think I would rather be invisible because, okay, you can still be, uh, if you're around somebody and you can read their mind, you still may not still witness something that might be interesting, but if you're invisible, you may be able to still understand what's going on in their mind because they might talk about it when you're not around. Does that make sense? Nights in or nights out? 37-year-old Jennifer says, nights in please. Now, if you want to ask 27-year-old Jennifer, nights out, let's go, it's party time, the sun's down, let's get at it. That's, that's what she would have heard. Now, no. Now in 10 more years, when I'm 47, Probably still gonna like nights in. Yeah. Glass of wine or margarita? It's five o'clock somewhere and I'll take a margarita, thank you, with top shelf tequila and some Grand Marnier on top. Salt around the rim. No sugar, please. Thanks. Jump rope or high knees? Neither because high intensity interval workouts, which I used to do in the past, are not good on my body. So I prefer yoga and Pilates. So you can keep your jump ropes and your high knees. And I trip over myself going up stairs. So you can imagine what I look like when I'm trying to jump rope. Get even or get over it. These days, I'm get over it. 27 year old Jennifer and earlier was get even, yeah. I, I couldn't get over things when I was younger. I, you know, getting back at somebody was like, it just festered in my mind. I didn't go do stuff like that, but you know, you, you just sit here and stew on it and you think about it. And you know, now I've realized with age that it, it doesn't matter. I, if I'm not, I don't need to get even, I'm gonna get over it. I'm not gonna forget it, whatever happened, but I, I'm not gonna let it bother me. Dog person or cat person? I like both. Now, we only have a dog. Growing up, I had a cat. Growing up, I also had goats. I love animals, just animals in general. You know, I rescued baby rabbits, baby kittens. What else did we rescue? There was something else in there. I had turtles. Um, yeah, th th I just love animals. I'm an animal person. So, dogs and cats. Mm -hmm. Phone call or text? I can't stand phone calls. Just can't. Text me. <laughs> so the phone call phobia came from my debt story. So if you haven't seen my debt story, I'll link that down below too. But I began to be phobic of phone calls and talking to people and getting calls when I was in debt and had collections agencies calling me. I had my phone on silent. I had my phone on silent until my daughter was born. That Until then did I actually turn my phone back on ringer. I, I just 
there is some sort of, it's, it's a phobia. I don't, I can't, I still haven't gotten over it. Um, how many years since I've been out of debt? Let's see, that would have been, maybe it's been 12 years and I still don't, now if it's somebody like a family member or something, that's fine. But otherwise, I just don't like phone calls. Just don't. Text me. Thank you. Plan everything or go with the flow. I prefer to plan everything. Now, I've also said that, you know, the key to a simplified life is leading a, a situation or having a times when you don't plan everything. You just kind of go out and wing it throughout the day. I completely agree with that. But I also like to plan things. And the reason I like to plan things is because it's like dangling a carrot in front of me. I get excited about things coming up. And I love the anticipation excitement of things coming up. And typically, I enjoy the anticipation excitement of the things coming up more than I do the actual thing that I planned. Veggies or fruit? Um, definitely veggies. I eat veggies all day long. I love vegetables. Fruit, on the other hand, I don't like sweet things. So the only kind of sweet, like, uh, like th dessert I eat is chocolate, right? I don't like candy. I don't like lollipops. I was the weird one that, you know, when my mom and I would go through the bank drive through and they would always see a kid in the back and they want to give a lollipop, my mom would say, no, don't bother. She does not like them. I don't like candy. Um, just me. So to me, my taste buds associate that sweet, soury taste of fruit and candy. It's the same kind of thing to me and I just don't like it. The only things that I will eat that's fruit are a very speckled banana and strawberries, especially if they're covered in chocolate. Hot air balloon or helicopter? Well, I have been in a helicopter, which was so much fun. I did one of those, you know, beach helicopter things, and I really would love to go up in a hot air balloon. Would love it. Has anybody ever gone up in a hot air balloon? Is it great? Is it fabulous? Is it awesome? I've, I've seen the horror stories, but honestly, I think that would be so much fun. When I was younger, we lived out in the country, so we would actually see hot air balloons a lot. And it was so much fun because we would, my brother, myself, and my mom, we would get in the van and we would go and chase it and go and try to find it. And so there were several times when we found it, when it came down, that we were able to get out and help pack up the parachute, or not the parachute, the balloon part for them. So. Just great memories. I'd love to go out in a hot air balloon. Introvert or extrovert? I am absolutely an introvert. Now, I can talk to pretty much anybody. I can, people assume that I'm extroverted, but I typically don't just kind of go out and make an effort automatically to do, to talk and like hang out with people. But if I'm in a group, then I can definitely discuss open conversations, ask about people. I can, you know, schmooze, whatever I need to do. But otherwise, I am introverted. I grew up being, I wanted to be a solitary. I played by myself. Um, to this day, I have a very hard time delegating things out. I just, I keep it all in here, I guess. Showers or baths? I prefer a hot shower. However, the occasional extremely hot bath with bubbles and lots of lavender is awesome. But I like it so hot that <laughs> I can't stay in there very long. So baths to me never end up being longer than 10 minutes. Showers though, I can stand in there and it can just rain down on me, the hot water, and I can get lost in the track of time, definitely. Cupcakes or brownies? I prefer cupcakes as long as they are chocolate. I don't like white cake, yellow cake, strawberry cake, vanilla cake, whatever kind of cake, you know, the other cake. I like chocolate cake. And I definitely prefer the chocolate cake over, or a cupcake over brownies because a brownie is richer and a cupcake is just light and fluffy and it's got the icing and I really want a cupcake right now. Yeah. All right, that was it for part two of my video of this or that. Did anybody play the game where they decided to choose or figured out which one I would choose before I did? How'd you do? <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you back for more videos.